Hello and welcome to another game. I've been playing this game as of late and I felt I really want to do a let's play of this. So here we go, this is Chrono Trigger. Now this will be my official fourth playthrough of this. Um, I never owned this game as a kid and according to what I know um, this game never was never released in in Europe during the uh, Super Nintendo days. By the way I'm choosing my battle mode here and I like to go with weight because I'm not very good at RPGs and fast thinking uh, when I'm playing video games so um, yeah. And here's the intro. So yeah it will be my fourth official playthrough. I bought this game when it came out to the to Wii, uh, the Wii Virtual Console back in 2011 I think. So I played it once then, then I played it um, uh, this year I think in, in winter like in January and then I'm doing my third playthrough right now so I'm right in the middle of it so Anyway, someone's calling her name, and it is her mother. Another thing I, n I need to mention, though, is um, one of the reasons why I haven't done this earlier, although I've been wanting to do it, um, is the fact that um, commonly when doing RPGs in a Let's Play style fashion, um, you want to cut out a lot of random battles because it will just be a lot of excessive video and it's probably really boring to watch. Um, and so I want to do the same. Um, by the way, we're being introduced to another character here, Luca, who we're gonna meet soon. And don't forget to talk your mother, talk to your mother one more time after this to get some money. Uh, but yeah, so cutting out battles, uh, which is fine, except for I'm using the most horrendous uh, software in the world, the editing software I'm using. Um, maybe it's not the mo worst in the world, but it's it's not very good, it's not very easy to edit with. So, in order to, uh, um, to avoid a lot of troubles when editing, you know, my, my commentary track and the video when editing out a lot of battles, which I probably will do in the future. Um, I am post commentating this, so I can uh, I can edit the video first and then comment over it. So um, I don't have to. I only have to worry about cutting like the video and not having to try to edit and match my my voice in Audacity, which is usually what I do because I can't. I'm not sure if you normally can do this, like edit the, the audio track like within the editing software. Um, but you can't on the one I'm using. So uh, in order to avoid a bunch of hassle, I'm just going to try to post commentate this. And I'm uh, just going to see how I do. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll figure out some good way to be able to do both live commentary and cut out all the random battles. I, I'm not sure. But so... For, so far, I'm gonna try to uh, to to do post commentary. So uh, yeah, I'm just uh, exploring the world here, the world, the part of the world that is available to us. This is Luca's house, and this is her mother. Um, and yeah, everybody's talking about the Millennium Fair, so I guess that's where we're heading ultimately, but uh, I think there's one more house I go into here. I don't ed edit anything in this video because we're gonna fight a very small amount, so... Yeah, I just recorded this. Plus this might make for an easier way to record too. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it works. So here's the Millennial Fair. Everybody's happy, the music is even happy, and uh, talking to some people, and uh, kind of do some shopping and whatnot. Here we can buy weapons. 
And of course I can't buy the load sword, but I can buy the iron blade, so I do that. And usually I like to buy stuff, equip it, and then sell afterwards. Because you can get back quite a lot of money, so it's always good to sell stuff in this game. Um, yeah, so don't hang on to your old equipment, sell it when you can. It's a good idea. So yeah, basically the Millennia Fair is all about just messing around. Here I'm gonna spend some time and and get some silver points, which you can get very easily. If you have the patience um, and time it right, you can get one silver point every time you hit the bell. So I, I, I get five here. It's not very difficult to, to time, but um, I guess you have to do it a couple times to really get the timing in. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Do it right. There we go. I can move on. You have weirdos running around. I guess there's uh, some kind of race. And we were in a war four years ago. Four years ago. 400 years ago. With some guy named Magus and his troops. Um, just checking out the shops here. This guy sells uh, equipment. Which I couldn't buy both the... Um, the Karate GI, not sure what that stands for. And the Bronze Helm, unfortunately, so... I'll buy the armor and uh, skip out on the helmet. Although I do, I do sell my high, high tunic, try to get back some money. But it wasn't enough. And, as we come into this screen, oops! Hey! Yeah, I bet that hurt. But we seem more hurt than what she does, so... My pendant. And the bell chimes. Hmm. Well, there's the pendant, so make sure to talk to her before you get the pendant. Please. Oh, we have a date! Awesome! Yes! My name is Marl. And I'm Chrono, yeah. Lead the way. So, yeah, now we just have to mess around. There are a bunch of little things you can do on this fair, and we want to do them. Um, that old man that's walking around there, that is, that is his lunch that I'm, I was just staring at. Don't uh, interact with the lunch. Bestly just leave it alone and let the old man have it. Here we can uh, try out battles. Um, and this guy is actually uh, kind of tough, you know, for being like the first enemy you can fight. He gets a lot of turns. Here we go, and he's focusing in on Chrono. Yeah, there isn't really much we can do at this point anyway, so you can just hope to attack. As you can see, you have the meter that has to fill up before you're able to attack again, so... So the battles sort of happen in real time, but at the same time they don't. It's kind of weird. Even even on like... I, I don't know how it is playing on active mode. I've never done that, but even on wait, um, the enemies still sort of move around and... Uh, I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird. I, I don't really get it, but then I'm not the biggest RPG person in the world, so what the heck do I know? Anyway, I go to talk, go and talk to this little girl, and she's uh, lost her cat. Well, there just happened to be a cat on the other side, here. There it is. Talk to it, and the old dude is in my way. Cry out loud. Yeah, and you just have to lead the cat back to the little girl. So I walk very slowly. You can dash in this game, and uh, it's very nice. I do it a lot, but... Not when I'm leading um, cats around. That would just be rude. You're so sweet, Chrono. I know. And, uh, yeah, a soda guzzling contest. Context, and you're supposed to tap A, but unfortunately I tap B at the start, so I don't really make quite a, 
a lot of progress on this one. Only three cans, yeah. I've never been able to win this though. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just slow. I guess that's my problem. And uh, yeah, we got people dancing. A prehistoric dance. So I guess we could dance too, but I didn't try it out. Well, awesome. Good for you. I'm not too interested in dancing in game or in real life, with the possible exception of Mass Effect. Hmm. So the king has a tomboy of a daughter. Um, I wonder who she is. Hmm. Anyway, we can talk to Melchior here again. And by the way, could you talk that young lady into selling her pendant? No way, dude. That's kind of weird. That's a weird guy. Oh, they're still setting up. So. I don't really know exactly what triggers it if you just have to waste enough time. I think that's what you have to do. Um, there's a tent you can go into here, which... Tent of Horrors, yeah, you can do weird stuff in there and that's where you use your silver points. I guess you can you can win stuff like... You can win cat food, I'm pretty sure, for your cat back at home. I've never done that. Um, you know, I don't condone violence or starving animals to death, but uh, I don't know. The cat seems fine throughout the game, so even without it, its food, so it's 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 cool. Chrono likes his cat. Don't don't kid yourself. See, so yeah, I was just messing around. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do, so. I'm just running around, trying to go into different screens, and again, I'm not sure exactly what triggers it, if it's just time or if you have to talk to a certain number of people after you meet Marl or what it could possibly be. Um, so yeah, I decided to play this some more. Get five more silver points. Yeah, no, I'm impressive. Alright, 3 for 3, 4 for 4, or 4 out of 5, can I make it? Yay! 5 perfect ones. I am so awesome. So yeah, talking to people I've already talked to. Chrono, I'm having a great time. Lucas device is all set up. Alright, so apparently that triggered it. I don't know why, but... So now we can go in, but... Uh, Marl wants to get some candy. Now, at this point, do not push any buttons. Just lay the controller to the side and wait. For Marl to start talking. There is a reason for all this. Um, which will become apparent in a few episodes. And I heal myself. Um, for reasons you will see soon. So here we are, is Luca and her father and their weird machine. Some kind of portal. Interesting. Oh, it's you, Krona. Yes, it's me. Although I can't talk. Never work. Backside of the moon with those. Man, they're talking about her glasses. That's not nice. How about you? It looks like fun! I guess it does. Just hop onto the left pod. Here we go. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. And there we go. Turn into particles and end up on the other side. That was great. No, thank you. It worked. I can't believe it. Uh, the thrilling display of science. It's kind of funny. What a kick! I want to try too! Huh? Hey Chrono, how did you pick up a cutie like her? Hang on Chrono, I'll be right there! Alright, the vision of beauty or whatever he said, I don't know. <laughs> Text moves a bit too fast for me to be able to read it, but um... 
again, I'm just testing this out. This is like, well, this is actually the second time I've done post commentary on this channel. Um, I think I said at that point that I will never do it again, but uh, here we are. It's like a year later, so. Uh oh. Ominous music. And um, it seems like Marl's pendant is glowing. But, wait, it works, right? Oh no! What's going on? Oh, what is that? Marl! No! Uh oh. Get her! Oh, it's too late! She disappeared! And we're all stunned. Where is she? Show us over, folks. Let's head home right now. That's terrible. Where is she? Who knows? It couldn't have been a telepod. So it has something to do with the pendant, huh? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we gonna do? Well, I'm gonna get the pendant. And cue epic music. Chrono, you're actually going to do it? Yes, I am. You can bet your ass I am. It's some kind of a key. Hmm. And they go through the the process again. Roger. More! Give me more power! Awesome. It works! We're going after Marl. I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Can you do that though without the... the, uh, the pendant? Or is the pendant still there, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it was left there after Marl disappeared, so perhaps it's there when Krona disappears too, but... These are some cool effects. And great music. You can never go wrong with cool effects and great music. And, uh, hmm. Some kind of autumn looking place. Uh oh. Our first battle. So, yeah. This is why I healed up. I have actually <laughs> entered this battle with like one HP left, having fought, you know, that robot that we fought for silver points and then forgetting to heal. And then, first first hit and I'm dead, you know, and I have to watch the entire intro again, <laughs> so make sure to uh, be at somewhat of a have some health at least, so you can survive these guys there we go, get some XP and some money and what have you this is an interesting area uh oh more battles so I think on this on this one we're gonna level up and we're also gonna learn a technique. Another thing that you usually get uh, from enemies are tech points, and these tech points, um, as you get a certain number of them, you learn new uh, techs, which could be just um, various kinds of attacks, or later on, they're also gonna correspond to magic. Say so we get an accessory, the power glove, which. Um, Maybe works better than the actual power glove that we all know and love. Uh, anyway, I you can skip this battle, but I decide to show this off too. Show the new tech that we learned, Cyclone. Um, this batches enemies pretty good here. I love using this attack. I, I use it throughout the game, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I will. I normally do it, so. So there we go. Um, we're looking for Marl. We're in a strange place. Yeah, this does not look like uh, where we just were. So, where are we? Where is Marl? All these questions will be answered in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye.